Hello and happy Thursday. We've made it this far. I'm going to read chapter three of Stranded. Um, remember, we have Buzz and Vanessa and Carter and Jane as the main characters. Jane is the youngest, Vanessa is the oldest. Then we have Buzz and Carter in the middle there. So let's see what happens. All right, chapter three. Buzz's mind was a jumble of panic, fear, and blind confusion. He's heard everyone talking at once in the dark, but not one what any of them were saying. Jane screamed. Joe was saying something about SOS. Vanessa and Carter were yelling, maybe at each other. The only light in the shifting gallery came through the hatchway from several more flashes of light, one after the other. Remember now, it all went dark. They hear scraping sounds. Water is in the boat. Not a good thing. He was on the ground, somewhere near the back of the boat. That much Buzz knew. It felt like they had crashed, but what was the case? Why were they still moving? The first thing that made any kind of sense was seeing a chill of water rising fast around their feet and hands. The shock of it sent him into an action, moving faster now than he had ever been in a long time. He felt his way through the dark into the rear cabin. It was a spa small space, so it wasn't hard to find the two tall steps at the back. Struggling to keep his balance, Buzz reached for the place where he knew the companionway door to be. As soon as his fingers landed on the latch, he threw it open and leaned out into the cockpit where Dexter was holding on to the captain's wheel, trying to steer the boat against the storm. What are you doing? Duck screamed over the wind. Get below! We can't, Buzz shouted. It flooded. Water's coming in fast. He pointed back the way he had come. Dexter crouched down to pass, see past him, his headlamp shining inside. When Buzz turned to look for himself, he saw Joe hurt, hurting the others up the stairs on the opposite side. The water had continued to pour in. It was past Joe's knees already and nearly up to Jane's waist. Dexter pulled Buzz up into the feet, up onto his feet in the cockpit, and slammed the companion doorway closed. Take the wheel, he shot into the air. There was no question of yes or no. Hold on as tight as you can. I'll be right back. I don't know how to do this, Buzz shouted. Carter was always the one begging to steer the boat, not him. And now he was supposed to learn in the middle of the world's biggest storm. You can do it, Dex said. Just hang on. Wait, Buzz's heart was racing as fast as the wind had whipped past him. There wasn't enough time to think. Where are you going? To open the lift raft. To open the life raft. Zach shouted just before he left. We're getting off that boat. New person. Carter stood at the top of the galley stairs in the downpour. Jane hovered just behind him, gasping, grasping his waist with both hands. Vanessa was there too, holding on to the small banister for balance. Where's Joe going, she asked. I don't know, Carter said, and leaned farther out to sea. Joe had turned a 180 from the stairs and was working his way back toward the middle of the boat, where Dex was waiting for him. They quickly started rustling with the straps that kept the big life capsule lashed to the deck. Carter felt a cold sense of dread run through him. They were going to have to abandon ship, weren't they? This was even worse than they had thought. Wait here, Carter shouted at Vanessa and Jane. He clipped himself to the jack line on that side and started to follow back the way Joe had gone. He had barely taken a few steps before the boat pitched hard again and sent him stumbling to his knees, then flat out in the dark, even from where he was, though. He could hear the two men shouting at each other over the storm. I don't think we can launch in these conditions, Joe called. We don't have a choice, Duck tollered back. But how are we? One of us has to go in with, go in with it. That was it. There was no more conversation. Within a minute, they had freed up the capsule. Each of them took a side and heaved the whole thing into the water, where it op opened automatically, unfolding and inflating at the same time. Suddenly, there was a bright orange canopy disc bobbing on the waves, but it was also drifting quickly away from the boat. Get in, Carter heard Dexter shout. I'll throw you a line. Carter watched from the edge of the deck as Joe dove without any hesitation. He disappeared into the churning waters and resurfaced several yards away. With some effort, he managed to swim over to the raft and scrambled up into it. Working quickly, Dexter Harvey unspooled an orange floaty on the line of a rope and tossed it straight out to where Joe was. So Joe's in the water trying to get into the raft, right? He wrapped the other end of the line around his own waist, wedged his foot against one of the cleats on the deck, and then motioned for Carter to bring the other ones over. When Carter looked back, Vanessa was out on the deck, but she hadn't clipped herself in the other side, away from the life jacket. And Jane was still peeking around from the stairwell. He couldn't see Buzz at all. 
Come on, Duck shouted. He held on to the line with one hand and motioned them to stay low as they came. The boat heeled again to the side, and he stumbled to the feet as well. Let's go! Let's go! Are we getting off the boat? Jane yelled when Carter reached them. It was easier to nod them to try an answer right now, and he still needed to give Vanessa and Buzz. Hurry! Dex yelled again. Carter turned to look and caught sight of Buzz somewhere over near the cockpit. That's when he heard the next crash of lightning hit. Even with the storm raging, it was deafening loud. Carter saw a bright flash burst from somewhere near the top of the mast, like an explosion of light and force. The sailboat itself twisted nearly all the way around with a violent turn. The right life raft veered off in the opposite direction, and Dexter, still holding onto the line, lost his footing altogether. Before Carter could try to get to him, Dex slammed to the railing, flipped over it, and was dragged on the, all the way overboard by the force. Jane screamed. No! Vanessa shouted. In a matter of seconds, the boat was driven in one direction and the lifeboat in another. It was too dark to see clearly, but Carter could make out the flashing orange light rig it to the raft and a vague glow of Uncle Dexter's headlamp in the water as Joe used the rope line to haul him in. Dex was shouting something back their way, but it was impossible to make out a single word. Carter stepped onto the raft. He thought about driving in after them, and he couldn't leave the others. Instead, he looked around desperately for another length of rope or something he might use to pull Dex back in, but it was already too late. By the time he looked out toward the water again, Dex, Joe, and the life raft had all disappeared completely into the storm. So they are they all alone on the boats? We'll have to see you at chapter four. Bye guys.